All right, so clearly I really like drones. You've already seen me do a bunch of cinematic stuff with them in my previous videos, but honestly, they're capable of so much more. So seeing that it's been four years since Michael Reeves posted his last drone uprising robot invasion video, I figured why not continue his work and make a drone that shoots me in the face. Let's do that. All right, the first step in making a face tracking Terminator drone is to make a face tracking Terminator drone. So initially I was gonna use the Rise Tele, which is a super small, easy to fly drone that most importantly, you can write code for. So I went ahead and wrote a whole Python script that allowed the drone to track my face and follow me around. And it worked super well. So I thought, easy, let's just add a shooting mechanism to it and we're done. No, uh, not easy. Cause then I realized, Can't lift shit. Back to the drawing board. Alright, screw this drone, it's too weak. Instead, let's use this way bigger one, but the only problem is that it's not programmable. So instead, we can make a turret that attaches to the bottom of the drone and can track a target's face. Once it's got a lock, we can start shooting. Right, but how's it even gonna shoot? Well, along with a bunch of drones, I also have a ton of nerf guns. So I went ahead and ripped the flywheel system out of one of them and hopped into SolidWorks to quickly 3D model and print out our turret mechanism. And by quickly, I mean that was literally two weeks worth of work. Like, look at all the test prints I had to do. All right, also, even though this drone is five times the size of the Tello, it uses these dinky brushed motors, so it can hardly lift anything. So I literally had to go and cut holes in the Nerf magazine and take out as much weight as possible from the drone so that it could even barely lift the turret. Then all I had to do was slightly modify the Tello code so that the turret could use two servos to track and aim at my face. All right, we got the face tracking done. We got the shooting mechanism done. All we have to do now is test hope I didn't just waste a month of my life. <sighs> yeah, turns out flying a drone with all the controls reversed is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Also, I ended up breaking the pie and burnt out one of the flywheel motors. But it's all good, because I got a new Raspberry Pi and tore out the flywheel system for another Nerf gun to rebuild it even better. So a few days later, we're back to testing. Also to avoid what happened last time, we're just gonna use an image of my face and the face of someone who would probably use this tech in real life. Yeah, so let's try test number two. And it missed. A lot. Like, the entire time. How does it perfectly hit around the target, but never on it? Like, honestly, I should just retitle this video to I made an attack drone that doesn't hit civilians. Honestly, the government would probably actually want to buy that. Oh, and to top it all off, I crashed it again. Don't give up here. So I fixed it all up, completely revamped the code. And I think this is it. And yeah, I'd say it works. Thank you so much for sticking around until the end of the video. If you like this project, let me know what else in the comments below you'd want to see me make. This is kind of the direction I want to steer my channel into with more maker style videos, so I'd love to hear your ideas. And yeah, that's pretty much it. See you in the next video.